Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm really glad you're here. So, as you can tell, if you're familiar with my surroundings, I am home. I finished my road trip back home. It feels really good to be home. It feels really nice to be home. It was nice to see my son and the others that live here. It was great to see my cat. Um, and it was really nice to sleep in my bed last night. So I have been uh, working hard at uh, emptying out my van, getting everything cleaned. Uh, but this time, as I'm unpacking, I'm also preparing for the next pack. <laughs> so usually when I'm unpacking, I'm like totally 100% unpacking. Um, but, you know, I saw no reason to unpack all my shorts and bathing suits and and sundresses there's no reason for me to unpack them because the next time i'm going to use them will be in florida when i hit the road in january so i'm kind of like as i'm unpacking i'm planning for the next trip um i, I like i unpacked all my supplements and i thought ahead i thought what do i need from now until next april because i really prefer not to order on the road and it just gets complicated. I know it's possible to order from Amazon on the road, but um, it's just a little complicated. And so I like to instead be as prepared as I can. So I'm kind of um, uh, considering all my supplements from now until April 1st. So I've just, I've been ordering things. And so I'm already kind of like, it's funny, I'm like, I'm unpacking from one trip and simultaneously planning for the next one as things are coming to me. So, um, I thought I'd tell you about my, my trip home. Um, I did it in six days. Now, when I drove from Boston to Phoenix, I did it in 12 days. When I drove from Phoenix to Boston, I did it in six days. When I left my house on September 20th, the weather was really nice. And as, as the, the closer I got to, uh, Phoenix, it was getting better and better. So I was traveling in beautiful weather. So I would pull over on the side of the road and I would set up my chair in a beautiful little park and just relax and just drive three or four hours a day. I didn't need to do six, seven, eight hours a day. Um, coming home, it's a little different. It's been cold. It's been, uh, most of the way it's been cold. Um, uh, brown. <laughs> There's like nothing pretty to look at. When I left, everything was green. I, I missed all the, the leaf changing colors, missed all that. Uh, now all the trees were bare. Everything was just kind of brown, not much sun, cloudy and cold and brown. <laughs> so it was kind of like, let's get this over with, you know? And I was also uh, motivated to get home by Thanksgiving. Um, and I also was motivated to get uh, this road trip done because every day I was on the road, that means I was sleeping in the cold. So the sooner I get home, I could stop sleeping in the cold. It was manageable. It was cold. The last night I slept, it was about 28 degrees. Um, but with my blankets, my hat, uh, those booties, those bomb best booties, keep my feet toasty warm. Um, I, it was, it was definitely doable. It was doable. And, uh, but, uh, I, I, it wasn't pleasant. It just, it was doable. So I was ambitious to get home. So, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my road trip home. Um, so I did some, I got some, some numbers and figures on mileage and gas, what I spent on gas and different things um, along the way that I thought you may be interested in. So um, I left Thursday. So I traveled Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. I got home about four o'clock. Uh, so Thursday I left Phoenix and I made it to Albuquerque, New Mexico. That was 461 miles. And I went to my friend Bob's house 
I got there about 7 p.m. We just had a little chat for about an hour and a half. I went out to my van, went to sleep. The next morning, we enjoyed a nice breakfast together and a chit-chat. And then um, uh, he had to work, and I needed to hit the road, so it worked out good. But it was nice to see him again. Um, and when I was on my way to New Mexico from Phoenix, you have to see what happened on my way from Phoenix to Albuquerque. So then on Friday, when I left Bob's at Albuquerque, I made it to Elk City, Oklahoma. And that was 432 miles that day. And when I was there, um, I was at uh, a rest stop and they had these porta potties. Check out these porta potties. You cracked me up. So I slept in Elk City, Oklahoma. And Saturday, I left Elk City and I drove to St. Robert, Missouri, 479 miles. And you know what's interesting about Missouri? There's a town in Missouri, and the name of it is Uranus, like the planet. Um, now, there were billboards everywhere, because I guess in that town, they're famous for their candy and chocolate. So they have, they advertise these fudge factories, Uranus Fudge Factory, the best fudge comes out of Uranus. And that's what these billboards said. I'm just saying. If you're looking for some good fudge, I guess, go to Uranus. So on Sunday, I left St. Robert, Missouri, and I went to Eaton, Ohio. That was 460 miles. And when I was in Ohio, I met up with a subscriber who agreed to meet me right on my route, right on my route home. So I told her I'd let her know when I was in Ohio. I let her know when I was in Ohio. Then I let her know when I was an hour away from this gas station that we met at. Uh, and there we were. We met at the gas station. And we had, um, it was just lovely to meet her. And we, um, it was cold. It was cold. So we sat in my van. So she sat on my cooler and I sat on my bed. And surprisingly, it really works out having a guest in my van. She was in heaven just looking at my van. I told her, just, you know, open up anything you want. She was opening my cabinets and looking in, at things. And she was just, um, uh, just really enjoying seeing my van. And uh, we had lovely conversation. And she brought me a gift. She brought me the stone. I don't know if you've ever seen such a thing. However you hold it, it looks like a different stone. It almost looks like it lights up. And it's called, uh, I have an email that she sent me with the details about it. It's called a Labradorite. Labradorite. And um, so she told me, uh, she gave me some history behind it and what this, this particular crystal means. Um, and she also said that, uh, you know, just whatever resonates with me in this text is how I should utilize this. So I read a lot that I don't resonate with. There's things here that it helps with that I don't believe that I need to focus on. Uh, I'm going to say that the, the one thing that really jumped out at me that I enjoyed, it said being drawn to Labradorite means... There's more than meets the eye within you. You have access to third eye wisdom or intuition in higher realms of consciousness. Labradorite's protective qualities serve as a reminder that it's safe to be big, put yourself out there, and be truly authentic in the world. So I love the idea how this um, assisting me with intuition. That's how I'm going to interpret that. And um, I'm going to keep this. Um, close to me. And I really appreciate this. Her name is Vianne. And it was just a blast to meet you, Vianne. It was so great. You just have like so much 
energy and so much passion and um, so much love. I really enjoyed meeting you. So Monday, I was in Eaton, Ohio, to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. That was 511 miles that day. That was my biggest day. Um, actually, that was the day when I left Eaton, Ohio, and went to Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. That's when I met Vian. Um, 511 miles that day. That was a big one. Slept really cold. Every night was cold mostly in the 30s, except that night was in the 20s. Tuesday, I went from Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, and I made it all the way home, and that was 354 miles for a total of uh, approximately 2,700 miles. So it was a 2,700 miles trip to get there, 2,700 miles back. Um, I'm not really positive of how many miles... Uh, Luann seems to think that we traveled about 1,600 miles um, throughout our six-week journey. Um, I suppose that's possible. It just, that just seems high to me. I'm not really sure. Um, I forget what my mileage was when I left the house. <sighs> um, anyway, I have three figures. I have the money I spent on gas going from Boston to Phoenix. I have the money I spent on gas from Phoenix to Phoenix, and that's six weeks in between. And then I have a figure from Phoenix back to Boston. So from Boston to Phoenix, I spent $321 on gas. When we left Luann's house and we did our six-week journey, I spent $263 on gas. And when I left my house on November 16th, which was my daughter's birthday, she turned 35, my first baby. Um, on November 16th, when I left Phoenix, back to Boston, $376. So I spent a total of $960 on gas. Um, other than a couple of campgrounds, just a few campgrounds, but really inexpensive. Um, the Pink Jeep Tour, I spent money on that. That little angel that I got at uh, in Sedona. The clothes from the from the Goodwill that day. Really, I really didn't spend much money. I spent a fortune on food, but I spent a fortune on food at home. So that was not an added expense from traveling. Um, yes, that's really all I spent my money on. Most of our camping was free. Um, dispersed camping, uh, BLM land, Cracker Barrels. Um, yeah, spent very little money, very little money. 
Um, I get good gas mileage, so um, I don't know if these numbers would be the same for you, but um, I'm really happy with it. So since I got home, I've been taking all my things out of the van. I went grocery shopping this morning. I have laundry going. Uh, I've been prep cooking. I made a big pile of broccoli. I made a big pile of butternut squash. I baked some smoked paprika chicken. I um, been just putting all my things back where they belong. Um, it's quite a process, uh, but I like it. I know it's up and down stairs. I go from my bedroom down the hall, down the stairs, into the garage, into my van, back out from the garage and up the stairs. And I, I must have been up and down at least 50 times since I got home. Um, but I enjoy, I enjoy getting order and getting everything back. Sleeping in my bed last night, oh, it was so nice. There's just nothing like your own bed, you know? Um, I'm very comfortable in the bed in the van, but not when it's 28 degrees. Those are not ideal conditions. So thank you for coming along on uh, my journey with, with uh, Luann and I. We had such a great time. We made all kinds of videos. Um, I enjoyed um, uh, the most enjoyable part of this whole trip was all the people that I met and for Luann, who I spent 24-7 with for six weeks. I can't remember the last time I did that with anybody. Um, and I just enjoyed her. 24-7. Um, she was just a pleasure to be with. And I'm so grateful that she shared um, these six weeks with me and uh, was part of these memories for me. Um, and for all the people that I met along the road uh, on this trip, I've mentioned you or uh, dance with you um, in all my videos. Uh, I'll never forget you. Um, so grateful. So grateful. Bye for now. <laughs>